What's up YouTube, Ben here. Welcome to the next video on the channel. In this one, I'm going to give you my next old school RuneScape free to play money making guide. This one's called Capes Equals Profit. Let's get into this. Quickly before we get into the video guys, don't forget you can also like, comment and subscribe to show support to the channel. Don't forget you can also join my other socials down below like Discord and TikTok. And don't forget when I go live on YouTube, I also go live at the same time on Twitch. So if you want to watch me whilst I'm live but don't watch streams on YouTube, you can always check me out on Twitch. Let's get back in. All right, so uh, my last money maker was bones equals profit, and in this one, we're going to be buying team capes in the wilderness and then selling them for an absolute crap ton of profit on the GE. Now, a couple of things before we get into this money maker. First and foremost, this can be done as early as level three because all you technically require is money to buy the team capes. However, there is a lot of risk as being a low level to doing this because you have to go past a bunch of demons in the wilderness and you can easily get wombo comboed by the demons in the wilderness so i would recommend doing this as sort of like a level 20 or 30 because at least then you can defend yourself a little bit but it is a low requirement money maker because all you technically need is money i'm taking a couple of energy potions as well as a little bit of food just in case um also, because this is the wilderness, there is a, a decent chance of you finding a PK. Well, not a decent chance. To be fair, I've done like five runs of this today. And I've not seen a single pk -er. Um, Because it is the wilderness, you can be PK'd. So be careful of that too. But the portion of the wilderness we're going to is low risk. Because there's not much in this area except for the salesman and a couple of other things. And being realistic as a free-to-play player in the wilderness there's only one reason you would actually go to the wilderness as far as i know which is um to fight moss giants to get mossy keys to fight briofla because of course briofla will then have the chance to drop you like a six mil worth item um and the, the the chances for a mossy key are a lot higher in the wilderness but fortunately we're not going to that part of the wilderness i mean we kind of are but we're not like the way it works is we're going to near the Lava Dragon Maze, which you can't access as a free to player, but on the left side of the Lava Dragon Maze, you've got the Moss Giants, and then on the right side is where we're going. Um, so the odds of coming across a PK are unlikely. But I'm taking a very cheap range setup, just in case I do have to defend myself, as well as, again, energy potions to keep my run energy up, and um, some swordfish in case I do need to eat. Uh, if you also have an okay amount of prayer points, I'd also recommend having, you know, the protect prayers, which of course are protect from magic, which is level 37, protect from um, missiles, which is, or ranged, which is 40, and protection from melee, which is 42, 43. And also one other thing to note about this as well is depending on GE pricing at the time, the person we're going to sells multiple different team capes. He sells team capes for levels, team cape 1, 11, 21, 31 and 41 so depending on ge pricing at the time would that will dictate really which one's more profitable to go for but with all that in mind let's get on our way i'm gonna start running now i think so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run all the way to basically up to around here now william is a traveling merchant so another thing to keep in mind is that he will not always be in the same spot and sometimes he can be a little bit more difficult to track down because of that the best thing you can do if you spend let's say a minute looking for him you can't find him do a quick world hop if you world hop hopefully you'll have an increased chance of running into him but he can basically spawn anywhere in that area and he travels around and he travels fast he's not a slow traveler at all so because of that he definitely can, you know, keep you on your toes a bit. Now, unlike my other recent money makers, I'm not going to be doing this for a certain amount of time. I'll just show you an invent because being realistic, you know, but also they're easy to avoid if you run a bit further to the right. I'm just choosing not to because I'm not, I know they're not going to hurt me so much, so I don't bother. Anyway, as I was saying, um, you know, the money makers I show you guys are different money makers. I'm not here to show you now. Because if I was going to show you how to make the most money, you know, for, I guess, the, to work towards a bond, which is what most people are doing on free-to-play, you know, I'd be showing you, you know, cut use for 50 hours or go and fight Ogress Warriors. My money makers aren't about that. My money makers are about showing you different money makers you can do um, to take away from the monotony of free-to-play grind. Because let's be real here, the old-school RuneScape free-to-play grind is not very fun. 
it just isn't. There are infinitely more better money makers on members, of course, but then you have to pay for that. So if you don't have the money for that, or if you're just trying to, you know, earn a bit of cash on free to play, a lot of the money makers I show you will do that, but they're not, you know, the best money makers, quote unquote. I'm just showing different ones. But we're around the Lava Dragon maze and he is nowhere in sight. That does not mean he is not here. It just means that, you know, the odds of running into him are a lot lower now. We're already here. Don't get me wrong. He can still spawn, but we're here and he isn't. So what I'm actually going to do is quickly world hop. Let's go to, again, I'm going to go to a 750 skill total because I can. You don't have to. I'm choosing to because there's a lot less players. Um, so once we world hop with any luck, we should hopefully find him sooner. Because this guy is kind of hard to track down on occasion. He can make it very difficult to find him. Um, especially if you're, you know, frantically looking for him. Now, it does take longer than about a minute. I will quickly do a cut and I'll cut back in and I'll tell you exactly how long it took to find him. With any luck, it won't take too long, but at the same time, he can also be a bit of a pain because he can literally spawn and walk around this whole area. So finding him is not always the easiest thing in the world. Another thing you could do is just stand still and AFK it, but again, you run the risk of running into players. Again, the, I would say the chances of that are extremely minimal, but it can happen, so keep that in mind. Um, of course, you cannot spawn within the Lava Dragon Maze on free-to-play worlds because you can't access those as free-to-play. So, if you try and access the gate, it'll just pop up with the message um, around about here. Say, you know, become a member so you can access the Lava Dragon Maze. I mean, be realistic. Lava Dragon Maze is also a great profit. You know, if you're a member, like, it's great. I mean, don't get me wrong. PKers are constantly there, but <laughs> if you can make it out alive, you know, it's worth decent GP, but... <laughs> All right, we again having trouble finding him. So I'm going to cut and cut back in when I do find him. Quick intermission, guys. Did you know that only 13.9% of you subscribe to the channel? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because it would really help us grow. Thank you. Ah, we found him. There we go. I literally world hopped one more time and I found him. So world hopping is a good way to find him. But once you trade with him, he'll have, like I said, team capes to team 1, 11, 21, 31, and 41. So, for me right now, the most profitable one is Team 1 Capes. We'll just buy 50. It's literally 1,250 GP. So, of course, once you then do that, you can also then freely run back to the Grand Exchange and sell them. So, we picked up how many Team Capes? 3, well, 4, 8, 12, 16, uh, 21. We picked up 21 Team Capes. I'm going to use what run I've got to get past the Greater Demons. You can get past them, like I said, without even taking any damage if you're careful about it. I'm not being careful because I don't need to be. Because they're not going to hit me very hard at all. But for other players, of course, they will probably hit you a little bit harder depending on your level. Like I said if before, if you have the prayer level, I'd highly recommend um, using your Protect Prayers if you need to. If you're at lower HP or lower combat stats. But... I do like showcasing the, the, the more unknown moneymakers because this is a moneymaker that a lot of people probably don't know about. Um, and to be fair, it's a decent one at that too. The cost is minimal. The risk is minimal. Like, I'm probably risking maybe... Well, now with the team capes, I'm risking a little bit. But, like, on the way there, I'm risking literally, I don't know, about 4 or 5k at the absolute most. Because looking at my gear, I'm not risking... I mean, I'm risking a lot of Mithril arrows, arrows, to be fair. Do not bring this many. I just brought my whole stack because I thought, why not? But don't risk this many. Um, if you risk, let's say, 100 arrows, you're literally risking about 5k, if that. You're not risking much of anything. So this isn't a very risky moneymaker in the slightest. Another thing you could also do if you had the magic level is at level 10 wilderness, you could cast um, teleport to Varrock to get out faster. But that does take up three and more inventory slots because of runes. So it's up to you guys whether or not you want to do that. Make a little bit less money, but also do the trips a little bit faster. Again, that's entirely up to you guys whether or not you want to do that or not. But like, I started in a 750 total world, and now in just a normal world, and I've seen no one. 
This side of the wilderness is literally completely dead. You, you won't really see anyone. And if you do, odds are they're not going to attack you because they're money-making themselves and not going in the best gear possible. But honestly, like, these team capes are ridiculously profitable and you can easily make a good amount of GP doing this. Of course, it is a little bit slow because of travel time. Again, you could bring more energy potions if you want to try and make it a bit faster. But even then, if you find him fast, the trips take maybe 5 to 10 minutes, if that. 5 minutes being on the more optimistic side if you do find him faster. But we're going to go ahead. We're almost out of the wilderness now. We're at level 6. So, again, odds of finding someone now are absolutely minimal. And even if we do find someone, we're really close to that border. There's no teleblock magic. There's no you know freeze magic on free to play anyway so but as a member i do not recommend you do this because the wilderness is infinitely more populated on members worlds um even in like the the the, the higher total level worlds plus there are better money makers on pay to play anyway i don't see the point but now we're out of the wilderness there's no risk at all we are successfully going to make absolute bank doing this so if you factor in the price of my swordfish, which I didn't eat anyway, or my... So let's not factor in that. But let's factor in the price of the energy potions. They're about 500 GP each. You know, that's another K. Add that on top of the, you know, money there. So basically, we risked 4K in total, right? That's not accounted for armor. You could do this with no armor if you wanted to. Again, I'm choosing to take at least some defense just in case. But even then, like... The risk is still minimal, in my opinion. So, let's go ahead and run back to the GE. I mean, we're going to run and run energy before we get there, but... Also, uh, another video I want to do is a quick boss guide for a Briofla. Like, as I mentioned earlier on, with you get a Mossy Key and then you fight him. So, if you want to see a guide on how to fight Briofla as a free-to-play, then let me know that in the comments down below. Uh, also by liking the video as well. But regardless of that, we're at the G. So let's sell these and you'll see how much profit we make. We literally risk nothing and we're going to walk away with about 20k. Give or take. It's roughly 20k per trip. Depending on how much inventory space you have and depending on if you, I guess, perfectly calculate how much GP you need, then sure, but... Uh, I need to cut up my bank pin quick. All right, with that cut out. So we'll offer the team capes. They're currently selling for actively trade around 995. I know this because I'm using Rune Light, uh, which I'd highly recommend anyone use, really. Uh, so if we just hit confirm, they should, they're going to instantly sell. We just made 16k profit. So easy clap. It's very easy money, not very risky at all. Uh, there, of course, is a little bit of risk because it's in the wilderness, what you're going to do. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, please, because you guys have been smashing it recently. Don't forget to turn on notifications to be notified of all uploads and live streams, because I do upload daily and I live stream most days. Whenever I go live, I either go live, well, when I go live, I go live here on YouTube and over on Twitch at the same time. So if you want to support me whilst I'm live, but don't watch streams on YouTube, you can always check me out on Twitch. Don't forget to join my other socials down below, like TikTok and Discord. And don't forget, you can also support the channel further by becoming a channel member from as little as 9 to 10 pence per month here in the UK, or about $1.30 in America. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.